no learning in this video we are going to develop an app text to speech which converts the text into speech so for this app you have to open the android studio let me open it and wait for few seconds after that you have to click on create a new project and then select empty activity click on next again after that you have to give the name of your app so here i am giving the name as text to speech okay then you have to change the language to java make sure the selected language is java click on finish after that the project is being loaded in the android studio and it is loaded completely right now now we have to make the layout firstly so we will go to the activity main xml file to create the design part for our app and let me split it into code and design let me minimize it okay so that you can see the code i want to just view the design part only okay then i just minimize it i hope you are seeing the screen clearly and here it is yes and now i have to change the layout to linear layout so i will change it to linear layout and after that you have to add orientation for the linear layout so here i am adding the orientation for linear layout as vertical remove this text view that is by default present and you have to add added text in which you will be giving the text and make sure the width and height as match parent and wrap content after that you have to give the id also i am giving the id as input field so it is after that you have to give few more properties for added text such as margin from the top side and i will be taking it as 80 dp after that you are taking the ems as 10 and then you have to give hint for this and i'm taking the hint as enter the text which you want to here okay you can see in the right side of your screen the code is implementing into the design and select the input type as text for the name and let me give some padding from the left side as 20 dp and the padding from the right side is 20 dp so this added text is complete so let me close it after that i have to give a button i have to make a button so let me take button and make sure the width and height as wrap content after that you also have to give the id for this button that is very crucial i'm giving the id as speak button speak underscore button after that you have to give the gravity for this and i'm taking the gravity as center horizontal and now you have to give margin and margin from the top is 22 dp after that you have to give the text for the button and i'm giving the text as speech whenever you enter the text and click on the speech button it will convert the text into speech you will be able to hear the, your text okay so it is complete i'm scrolling down if you get wrong anywhere then just pause the video and correct it so this part is complete let me go to the java coding part that is main activity and in the main activity part you have to firstly implement one interface and that is text to speech 
okay it will appear in the suggestion part yes the first one and then you have to get it on in it listener as you are seeing that here's the errors you have to implement a method click on that red bulb after that click on okay you have to implement this on in it method click on okay so it is implemented and now uh, we have to map our xml views to this java coding class and for this i have to uh, make those attributes and the first attribute is added text input and the again the search button speak underscore button and then text to speech tts press alt plus enter to import that and now here we are mapping it so first of all let me create an object for text to speech and here the mapping part the real mapping part we are mapping the input to edit text view and as we have given the id okay it is wrong let me remove it and add the correct id it was input field now it is correct after that i will do the same for the speak button find view by id r dot id dot in speak button so it is okay and then you have to set up set on click listener for that speak button so that whenever you click on that speak button it will convert your text into speech so let me implement this on click listener and in this on click you have to call a speak function let me implement this create method speak okay and then click on the okay okay this is the wrong place so let me cut it from here control x and then paste it just below this on init method just paste it here okay so let me remove some extra space from here okay and for now we have to complete this on init method firstly method and function are both same things so let me add the if condition for i that uh, it is text to speech and it got success then we have to make out the result here from the tts that was our object and here we have to first of all set up the language you can set up any of these language like canada chinese english hindi is not present there don't worry but we are getting the language as by default that is our phone language and then after that you have to set up the speech rate i am taking as normal as 1 and then you have to set up the pitch also i am taking as 1 for the female and then i am taking the result as you know we have to make sure there is no error and taking if that language missing data or result cos equals to text to speech dot language not supported then we will just set up the log cat here log dot e and in this we have to give the tag as tts you can give tag as per your choice also and then the message that language is not supported so this is okay after that you have to set up the else part for this 
and in the else part you will enable that uh, speak button and pass the parameters true and then call a speak okay so now the if else the inner if else is complete now we have to give the else part for the outer if and in this we have to give the lock cat also for the failure like text to speech is given as the tag and then there is the message like initialization failed okay so this else part is also completed let me remove this extra space and now we have to complete this speak function only two functions are there and the app will be ready just look at the we have to give a string message as we have to take up the message from that uh, input field or edit text we will get it from the input dot get text and convert it to to a string after that we will call tts dot speak in which we will give this message and text to speech dot q plus as it will work whenever you click on that uh, speak speech button so this method is complete here's an error let me see click on this red bulb and okay so it is version related click on surrounded with build version now it is error free as you can see that our app is ready to go let me scroll it down but before this let me remove this extra import okay i'm scrolling it and if you have messed up at anywhere then you can pause the video and correct your code okay so this is almost completed and let me run my app i will click on this run app button or press f10 and the gradle is building after that it will install on my device okay it is installing right now and yeah it is installed so let me show you my result okay here i am entering the text as subscribe techno learning okay then i'll click on a speech subscribe techno learning subscribe techno